When 36 of the world's best surfers meet at a well-known but also kind of isolated surf spot in the Australian state of Victoria, they all have the same goal. Ring the prestigious bell of the Rip Curl Pro. Right from the beginning, the athletes have to show their best performances to impress the judges and spectators. But of course, the crowd is just cheering for their Australian heroes. Because of the amazingly high level at the event, surprisingly, only two of the Aussie boys made it to the semi-finals. Title defender Joel Parkinson really shows his ambition to ring the bell again this year, but he has to admit defeat to the incredible level of two-time world champ Mick Fanning, who gets his revenge for last year's final, but Parko still hopes that the title stays in Oz. Mick deserves like he should have at least four or five bells, the way, he's, the way he competes and serves here. He, uh, he got the one as a wild card, he hasn't won, had one since he's been on tour, so I'm really cheering for him and hope he gets one. But to accomplish this would be more difficult than it seemed at first. Fanning's opponent is none other than 11-time world champ King Kelly himself. The 40-year-old legend sends a very clear statement by hammering down this unbelievable air reverse. 10 points for sure. Fanning, not daunted at all, answers with two high-scoring rides of 9-7 and 9-1, which are impossible for Slater to respond to. Before they announced the winner, surfers and spectators alike gave a long three minutes of applause for the three-time Bells winner and surf legend Michael Peterson, who passed away one week before of a heart attack at the age of just 59. Peterson was the first surfer winning this title three times in a row, hence the three minutes of applause instead of one minute of silence. Fanning, who witnessed this tribute from the water, is even more stoked about his first Bells title after 11 years. That was really emotional. I just took a real good moment. I, I didn't even, if a set came, it probably would have just taken me out. So I was just looking at the beach and looking at the stands, looking at the beach, looking at the cliffs. Um, it was just a real magical moment. And, um, you know, I, I was so honoured to just be out there and get a different perspective of people just having a good time. And they definitely did have a good time celebrating Mick Fanning keeping the bell in Australia.